Is your old clean shot having trouble adjusting the dial? Is it stuck? Because these two were both unable to twist until I've stripped them down. So if you need your clean shots to be able to adjust, then check this video out now. In today's video, we're gonna look at clean shot valves and how to strip them down. I've got two old ones here, this one and this one. And before I clean them, neither of the dials adjusted. So that meant that I had to adjust it with the grips and just really ruined that dial end. So now I'm able to adjust flush and spray. Both old, but plenty of life left in them both. So I'm just gonna show you quickly how to take the clean shot apart. So what you're gonna do is get your grips on the body, leave the dial on, get it adjustable. and just keep rotating and that will even if it's tight that will pull the whole unit out so all that's in the front is the tip end and then everything's fell out of the back because it's clean but what, can, what can happen when it's dirty and you'll see in the video is the tip section stays in in the front and this is sometimes a bit of a nightmare to take out. Now if you're cleaning, if you want to clean it, then the best thing to do is use a number two Allen key to take the grub screw out and that takes the dial end off. Once the dial ends off, you've then got this threaded sleeve and inside there is the other part that goes onto the back of the needle. Now if you can't take the uh, dial end off, don't worry. All that you've got to do is get a pair of grips on there and get your adjustable on there and just crack it until you get some movement. There we go, we've got that free again. Because you will have paint jammed up in there, which is preventing it from twisting. You can see how coated in paint it is. So if you can just free it up by just cracking it with the um, adjustable, then just soak it. That's all I've had to do with this one. I couldn't take the end off, so I've had to soak it, just brush some thinners into there so it's freed it, and now I've got full movement again. So I'm gonna strip this one down first. All right, grips, spanner, take the front off first. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. Look at that, see that paint fragments in there? That could just make it start to spit. There we go, that's a lot better inside now. So if we have a look in the end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna loosen this to start because that was a bit of a nightmare and I don't think it's, um, I don't think the little grub screw is loose enough for me to pull off, but we'll see once this unscrews. There we go. It's a lot easier if you've got grips to grip the, the main base and then the spanner um, on the nuts. There we go, that comes off in a one. I've just unscrewed that one. Now it comes with the spring. You can see how, how dirty that is. If we have a look in there, if it, the camera can get it. Healthy. I've just put some thinners on that pipe cleaner and it's just, just quickly stripped any of that paint off. Now if you can't take the uh, dial end off, don't worry. All that you've got to do is get a pair of grips on there and get your adjustable on there and just crack it until you get some movement. There we go, we've got that free again. And if you're just picking it up, you can see how coated in paint it is. So the paint you 
just in there is where it builds up and just stops it from being able to twist and shut off the valve. So this particular clean shot that I'm stripping now might not be able to get this off. I'm just going to brush some cellulose then as on it that's going to strip it straight off. Anything that's on there, I'll let that move really freely now. Would you look at that? I'm just going to pop that back on. Because I've, get, I've gained the movement that I need. Didn't need to strip that down. So to pop your needle back together, you will have four parts. You'll have the needle, the top sleeve, the spring, the other sleeve that sits on that way. So needle, sleeve, spring, and then the back section. And that makes up the front. So then the back, and if we just pop that together, then we've got control over the whole unit again. That just allows the needle to move backwards and forwards now that we've freed the dial. So now that we've got it all put back together and it's clean, I've got the tip of the clean shot already fastened up. So we're gonna pop it all back in through the back. So if you bought a new repair kit, you would do the same. Just go back through the back. I just nip up the back. Which brings us to part two. Adjustable. Well, that one came off pretty easy. No way as bad as the other one. Spanner on the back. Oh, again, easy. Don't act like you're not impressed. That first one was well tough. Just hope we can undo that. Oh, movement. Oh, there we go, it's coming off. Try the grips on it. Just be careful when it comes off. And then we can undo the back by hand. Just tap it out. This one unscrewed easier, but the old in insides came out a lot harder. So there's the little sleeve off the back. The spring. The other sleeve. And the needle itself. So if we look in this one, we'll see the same again. Really dirty. Let's get another set of pliers on it. If it's not coming out, just grab it. The finger slipped. Grab the flat bit and just pull it. There we go. This one's had it, look at the rubbers. Rubbers are just worn down. I'll clean it up and put it together again, see if it works tomorrow. So this one unscrewed a lot easier, but the needle came out a bit trickier. That was 10 times cleaner. That on the other hand has seen better days. Thread it. Thread it a little bit. That's what it looks like. That goes into the back of the needle. Like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up the uh, needle end. Pop the needle in. That goes on. Nip it up with a spanner, and that's how much should be out at the end. And we know that's right because I put the end on and then push the needle in so it's got resistance. And then the grub screw goes on the flat. Then look at that. So we're in and we're out. The grub screw's stuck, but it's allowed me to pull the end off. I'm just going to hit that on because I can't get that little grub screw out.
and now what we've got are two clean shots which we're able to adjust the dials on so we've got a few you know we've got quite a bit of life left in these and uh, saves us buying a new one